good morning and uh, yeah welcome to the morning you're right doesn't doesn't the conditions look different don't I look different with a different hat and a different coat on um, yeah what can I say when we finished uh, taking those photographs of the pier last night and I said I was gonna move along uh, it started raining it all went wrong so uh, we went back to the van got absolutely drenched on the way back to the van because we weren't ready for the rain and uh, I thought, do you know what? That's it. I'll get up in the morning and come down and see if I can get the pier in the morning. What I did do is go back out after a little bath it had gone dark. Um, it stopped raining, so I walked back down to the pier. I'm going to show you a couple of images now of the pier at night. They actually light it up, or the old pier. And I think it looks pretty eerie and pretty spooky. And uh, yeah, really, really cool. I'm, I'm glad I managed to get back out. We actually slept along the seafront. Um, we parked just a bit further along from the pier so it's a bit quieter not in the main busy area um, it was a, a rough night a lot of cars as you can imagine on brighton seafront and a lot of people walking around so it's a bit unnerving but uh, yeah we paid the paid the parking we knew we were safe to park there overnight so uh, yeah we, we we took the hit on it and unfortunately it wasn't the best place to sleep but it was the best place to get up and do this again in the morning uh, i've just taken another shot um, look at this the moon's out, the pier's there, and now the sun's thinking about coming up uh, in about another half an hour or so the sun's coming up. But what a transformation. Look at this clear skies from yesterday when we left you and it was grey, miserable, but nice. Um, yeah, totally transformed overnight. So uh, yeah, quite made up. So I thought I'd chuck my coat on, chuck me out on, get up and come out and take a picture of the pier with a bit of sunlight on it, you know, like uh, morning sun. Uh, totally made up that the moon's there. Like I said, I've already taken a couple of shots. I've taken um, a couple from down there with the leading line of the sea and the moon reflecting. It's really, really cool. I wasn't expecting to get anything like that. So uh, yeah, I'm quite made up with that. So I'm going to take you now down to the front, uh, along down the sea edge. I'm not sure whether we go, I'm going to have to walk down here, tie myself out a bit. I'm going to walk down and just try in front of that groin there if I can get a bit of reflection in that water on the top. Uh, if I can, then I'll use that. If not, then I'm going to go the other side of the groin, uh, as long as I don't get wet. I've got my radio on, so I can call the wife. She's obviously still in bed. So yeah, thanks for joining us for the end of this video, but uh, I know it's unconventional, but hey-ho, I did say it was going to be sporadic yesterday, didn't I? Right, let's go and get the camera set up, and uh, good morning, and <laughs> welcome to the end. I'm pushing me luck a little bit. Just gotta watch these waves behind us, otherwise I'm gonna get seriously cut off. Uh, it's coming up close to me now, and every so often, you know, like every seventh wave's a big one, <laughs> and one nearly caught me. Uh, the water on the other side's already way past this piece of rock I'm stood on. Um, so I have got one eye on there, I'm not concentrating personally, or well, totally. Right, I've taken a few images, I haven't been able to talk you through them because I've been snapping away. Uh, I'm gonna move up now because I want to get uh, a bit of light on the on the old pier with the with the old original groins in it. Um, looks like there's another photographer on the beach behind me, just here somewhere, just there. Uh, otherwise, someone having a rest, but I'm pretty sure he's a photographer. Um, whoa, the water's right up next to me now. I better be careful. So yeah, I've got a few competitions set up. I've gone vertical, as you can see, vertically like that, and I'm just shooting the pier with the light and with the moon above it. I'm balancing the exposure. I've actually put that's quite nice. I've actually put. Um, the polarizer on now i'm not a professional as you know and i didn't realize the polarizer would make any difference with a moon sky but it does it's actually um it does yeah that's all i can say so uh i'm just taking a few shots now trying to get the reflection of the moon which is not that easy um and keeping it in frame like yeah and just keeping it in frame and having the pier bang Bang central in the middle, right in the middle of the image. So I've got sky, water, and the pier. And it's quite nice. Um, these big waves crashing every so often. 
And yeah, we've definitely got a photographer behind me. He's creeping up on me. So I might have to go and say hello. But that's pretty good. I'm not going to, can't do too much. I've got the handheld camera and uh, I'm trying to avoid the waves. So I'm going to put you back away again, get another image set up and see if I can talk you through it a bit better. But I'm on F8 anyway and just letting the shutter speed do what it wants. So yeah, chat in a bit. make this a little bit short but sweet. oh look at this wave look at this one this is perfect 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 switch it just on in the right time snap 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 look at that i've switched this back on straight in the right time right i've come across the beach a little bit now um i was stood down there on that little piece down there before um it was a lady photographer so i gave her one of my cards if you're watching and uh, you do come on the channel and you do see me hello good morning and uh hope you do subscribe don't forget to hit the like button and all that sort of thing um yeah, I've come over, I've got the pier set up on my thirds again. Um, I'll show you on the screen if I can down here. There we go. You can see there, the pier set up on my thirds that side. And then I've got the third line running across that way on the horizon. And uh, we've got this little groin thing coming in from this bottom corner, taking you across the bottom of the image, which is quite nice. Um, and all I'm doing now is waiting for the water level to come right in and then click as it goes back out. Now. I haven't got the cable release on me. All I did is come out with a camera this morning and my filters, that's all I've got. And you, of course. Um, but I actually think, just before I switch the camera on, I was stood about four or five foot that side. And I think I've got the perfect one um, for this morning. I think it's absolutely stunning. A little bit of color in the sky, nice subdued light, about a half a second exposure, I think it was. And it's just as the water was receding and we've got these lovely streaks coming down through. So I'm quite made up with that, quite pleased. I think that's gonna be a lovely little image to finish off the video. Um, there is colour in the sky, but it's a vapour trail. Up there we've got a vapour trail coming right through. Um, and it's a lovely orange colour. Shame there's no clouds over here because it would be beautiful. Um, but I'm not too worried. It's nice and soft. It's a really, really soft glow to the sky, which is, look at that. It's really, really quite nice. The moon's still up there, but I can't get the moon in um, because I've gone in a little bit tighter. I might try and get the moon in. I might back off once I'm happy with these. I might back off because I've still got a reflection of the moon down here in the water and I don't know if you can see it from there but there is a little reflection in the moon that's all I'm gonna do hover around here take this if the light comes up and makes that look a little bit soft over that side and a bit of color in it I may run up there and get one with the groins in it as well but at the moment I'm happy with this I like the lines I like the water flowing back and yeah seagulls are starting to wake up now um, and I think I'm gonna call it a day I'm gonna show you these images um, I'll put them all on together at the end, a little bit of a slideshow of what I've taken this morning. Thanks for watching, thanks, I know it's been sporadic, I know it's been a bit random, uh, but I've had fun, Denise had fun yesterday, even though we got rained on a wet last night, we were alright, we sorted ourselves out. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, please, if you're new to my channel, it really isn't, it's not always like this, it's a bit mad, it's random, but it's not always as sporadic as this, um, so yeah, check out some of the older stuff, please leave a comment, love to hear your comment, but yeah, for now, I'm going to say goodbye, stop rambling on, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell and uh, you'll get notified of more rubbish from me. And until uh, next time, <laughs> ciao for now, take it easy. And don't forget, you've got to get up in the morning to get these sort of views, all right? So get out of bed. See you later. Bye.
I just said goodbye, didn't I? But I thought I'd just switch you back on to show you my feet. Look at the state of that. A big wave coming and I was six, seven inches underwater. Hopefully I got the shot. I don't, don't flick through the camera to find out now, but um, yeah, I got wet feet. Got to be in it to win it, apparently. <laughs> I was definitely in it. So anyway, I'll just switch you back on to say that. Um, and I've also been, I've also put the little stopper on. So I'm taking a few longer, longer exposures. So yeah, ciao, see you next time. I'm going now.